Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome, my dear students, to our English period for grade 7. Unit 11, lesson 2. The title of this unit is Energy and Recycling. Let's start our lesson, my dear students, with the opener. In our opener, my dear students, we are going to revise the previous lesson. Let's start with this question. What is a pump used for? Try to think. What is a pump used for? That's right, well done. We use a pump for lifting or getting water. What do you do if you have a problem? What do you do if you have a problem? People who lived in a small village on the top of a mountain didn't have any water. Getting water was a big problem for them. There were two brilliant ideas which helped them get water easily. What were the two brilliant ideas in the story? And who had them? Let's remember, my dear students. The first brilliant idea was building a water pump to take water out of the river and bring it up to the village. Jim had this idea. The second idea was attaching a bicycle to the pump. Jim's wife had this idea. Now my dear students, let's move to your students book page 72. Exercise number 3. Read aloud and complete the following paragraph with information from the table to retell the story. I want you, my dear students, to read the story again carefully and try to complete the following paragraph with information from the table to, re to retell the story. Read carefully, my dear students. It's time for reading. After reading, let's try to complete this paragraph. The people of the village were tired because they had to walk up the steep hill from the river cautiously with heavy buckets of water. The mayor asked the engineer to find a solution to the water supply. Jim used all the lorry parts to make the pump itself. Make the pump itself. But Jim had a problem with what? The, the third thing. His wife told him to attach a bicycle to the pump. Finally, the pump was built. The pump was built and it worked well. What about your story, my dear students? You can add your own words to complete this paragraph to retell the story. At the end, Water flowed up into the village. Now, my dear students, it's time for grammar. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about passive voice. My dear students, we use the passive voice to 
focus on the action the focus is on the action in the passive voice form let's see my dear students how to form the passive each sentence my dear students is start with the subject followed by the verb after that the object when we form the passive voice we start with the object at the beginning of the sentence followed by verb to be in the present is or are after that we put the verb in the past participle form finally we can put the subject at the end of the sentence preceded by the word by so let's summarize the steps my dear students we start with the subject with the object he opens the door here the door is the object we start the sentence with the object the door followed by verb to be in the present is or are as we know we use is with singular and we use are with the plural after that we put the verb in the past participle finally we put the subject at the end of the sentence preceded by the word by let's see another example somebody cleans this room every day how can we change this sentence into passive we start with the object what is the object in this sentence it's this room so we start with this room followed by verb to be in the present is or are this room is singular so we put is after that we change the verb from present to the past participle so my dear students we always in a present simple start with the, the object followed by is or are after that past participle let's see some examples cats eat fish and dry food cats eat fish and dry food here my dear students we start with the object fish and dry food is the object followed by are and the past participle of eat is eaten Look at this table, my dear students, to remember the three verb forms of the some common verbs. Infinitive, past simple, past participle. To be, is, or are, was, were. The past participle is being. Come, came, come do did done eat ate eaten make made made see so seen take talk taken write wrote written my dear students as you know these are irregular verbs but regular verbs we form the past simple and past participle by adding D or ED like a play played played clean cleaned cleaned help help it help it etc so my dear students here when we change into passive we should start with the object followed by verb to be in the present M is or R after that followed by the past participle of the verb 
Now, my dear students, how to change the past simple into passive? My dear students, in past simple, we start with the object. This is the same step in the present. We start with the object, followed by was or were, verb to be in the past, verb to be in the past followed by the past participle. Let's see this example. Somebody cleaned this room yesterday. This sentence is in the past. Cleaned. What is the object in this sentence? It's this room. So, this room is the object. We start with this room, the object. Followed by verb to be in the past, because the sentence is in the past. Was with the singular and were with the plural. The room was. The past participle cleaned from cleaned is cleaned yesterday. So the room was cleaned yesterday. The focus, my dear students, is on the action. Let's see some examples. Egyptians built the pyramids. How can we change this sentence into passive? The pyramids were built by Egyptians. That's right. We started with the object, the pyramids, followed by verb to be in the past. Were. Excellent, because the pyramids, the pyramids are plural. plural followed by the past participle, then the subject preceded by the word by. My dear students, when we change the sentences into passive in the past, we start with the subject, followed by verb to be in the past, was or were, then the past participle of the verb. More examples. Edison invented the light bulb. Edison invented the light bulb. Passive. The light bulb is the object. We start with it. Followed by verb to be, was, because the light bulb is singular. Invented by Edison, that's right. Columbus discovered the America. America is the object. We start with America. Followed by verb to be in the past. Was. Discovered by Columbus. Now, my dear students, in exercise number four in your student's book, read and complete the table with ten sentences from the text. Active and passive. Jim needed three parts to make the pump. How can we change the sentence into passive? We start with the object followed by verb to be in the past because here the verb is in the past. Needed. Three parts. Yes. Try to think my dear students and answer the next sentence Jim built the pump. Let's see and check our answers, my dear students. Here, three parts. Who can complete, my dear students? Excellent. Three parts will, were needed by Jim to make the pump. That's right. Three parts were needed by Jim to make the pump. We started with the object, followed by verb to be in the past, where, because three parts are plural, and the past participle of the verb. Jim built the pump. We start with the pump, was built by Jim, followed by verb to be, then the past participle. Excellent, my dear students. Now let's revise again. 
and confirm our understanding that's right three parts were needed to make the pump by Jim the next sentence the pump was built by Jim my dear students let's move to another exercise in our list exercise B change the following sentences into passive please my dear students read these sentences carefully and try to change them into passive number one mom prepares the food two the Wright brothers invented the plane three the police arrested the criminals four the dentist checks our teeth take your time my dear students and try to change them into passive carefully now it's time to check our answers yes my dear students who can answer number one the first sentence here mom prepared the food don't forget when we change into passive we start with the object what is the object here that's right the food followed by the verb to be in the present is or are that's right is followed by the past participle from the bird uh, the verb prepare it's prepared number two the Wright brothers invented the plane we start with the object what is the object here that's right the plane followed by verb to be in the past what is the verb to be in the past was or were was because the plane is a singular noun followed by the past participle the plane was invented by the Wright brothers excellent number three the police arrested the criminals that's right excellent we start with the object the criminals followed by verb to be in the past word because the criminals are plural followed by the past participle arrested number four the dentist checks our teeth we start with the object our teeth that's right followed by verb to be are because the our teeth are plural checked by the dentist let's revise them again my dear students mom prepares the food passive the food is prepared by mom the Wright brothers invented the plane the passive the plane was invented by the Wright brothers excellent three the police arrested the criminals the criminals were arrested by the police number four the dentist checks our teeth passive our teeth are checked by the dentist thank you my dear students meet you in the next period inshallah best wishes thank you and goodbye